Hey, hello everyone. In this super quick video, I'm going to show you why I switched over some of my sites to Cloud5 Host. Um, now, I made a video a few days ago regarding their special offer. It's still on at the moment. Let me just actually let me make sure. Um, yep, it's still on 147 for the package I'm on, which is a Cloud Enterprise Unlimited Domains. Let me just quickly, quickly show you two results. Um, so this is the site that I've, one of the sites that got hosted there, and I used this plugin uh, called uh, WordPress Hosting Benchmark, and this is the report. So it's just a test domain. Um, you can see the scores here. So CPU and memory, uh, operation of the large uh, text data, seven point seven, random binary ten, and so on. You can read it all. I'll I'll zoom in a little bit. Um, file system writability ten, large copy file. 9.58, small file IO test 10, database 10, simple queries 10, sorry, importing 10, uh, complex database, database queries 9.44, and network 10, uh, and the estimated speed was 360 megabits. So final score 9.7, amazing speed, amazing result. Now this is for my uh, Cloud5 host account. I paid 147 for five years. Now let me show you slightly embarrassingly but my VPS that I moved my main site to which is my own VPS with my own resources 8.9 now the only reason I think is because of the uh, the, the uh, control panel I'm using on there is um, I made a video on it a week or so ago um, cloud oh, sorry cyber panel cyber panel I think it's um, it's really let down by the by the database scores, but also the network is 213 megabits. This won't make a big difference in the long run, but um, uh, yeah, this this database panel I'm a bit concerned about, so I'll have to look for a different control panel because I'm not sure what database. I think it was Mario Mario DB or something. I don't remember. Most of it is 10, but don't forget this is a VPS with my own dedicated resources. I think this one was. Uh, it's four four CPUs and six gig of RAM, and this is my main site as well. So yeah, I wasn't I was surprised when I saw this eight point nine, and for this shared hosting, I'm getting nine point seven. So this is what I highly recommend you go to cloud5host.com while they've still got this offer on, because even this, I might just get another account just to host some in uh, in Europe in Romania. I might go for the ninety-seven. Actually, what's the difference? I might go for the ninety-seven dollar package, just host and post some small affiliate sites there, or go again for the cloud enterprise. <coughs> Excuse me. Actually, sorry. Yeah, looking at all the difference. Yeah, I might as well go for this one. But um, uh, yeah. I mean, actually, I was actually really surprised. I did read um, read some good things about them, but I wasn't sure because a lot of them they they got really high claims. But when you actually you've got it yourself and you've tried it. I mean, you can sign up and download this free plugin. Uh, let me just show you what the, is that the actual plugin name. One second. Yeah, WordPress hosting benchmark tool by Anton Alexandrov. This one, this one, of the better tools that I've used, just to test hosting. But yeah, I mean, th th these are the reports, and you can see it for yourself. I mean, you can see the URL here if you want to see it for yourself. But um yeah, what's the login to four ninety five? Oh, tasty. Okay. Yeah, it beats it here. But see, this, don't forget this is shared hosting in in Dallas, and yes, yeah, it's performing really well. This server, the VPS, is also based in. It's not Dallas. It's always based in LA. But that doesn't that doesn't make a difference anyway. But yeah, so this is VPS 8.9 and this is shared hosting 9.7. Now, I don't know why people are still spending money with SiteGround. All these affiliates are making juicy commissions out of SiteGround. But their service has gone downhill. It's been down for a while. Even when I first promoted it, maybe two years ago, I wasn't happy then. And I, I think I left after two weeks and I stopped promoting them. Because I think that they're just pushing affiliates to make more and more review videos for them. And then they've got a tiered commission system or something anyway, but just forget SiteGround, forget GoDaddy, forget all these rubbish companies. Don't go for the big ones that are advertised everywhere. Look at the smaller ones, the more niche companies. And um, uh, Cloud5 folks are really, they're, they're really actually offering a lot for the for the price. 
anyway, that was just, just a five minute quick update. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you find it useful. Please leave a comment, a like and subscribe. And I've got some more videos coming out next week. So good luck with your hosting and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.